going on, man? It's your boy, Kale Cloth, and I'm back with another video, man. Look, if I'm not starting somewhere, I'm not going nowhere. Happy New Year. Although we are very well into the new year, this is the first video on my channel. So I get the right to say Happy New Year to y'all. I hope y'all had a safe New Year's. I hope y'all brought it in good. But this is gonna be the first video of the new year. It's gonna be a sneaker review. I could not wait to do this video, bro. I just wanna get it out there. So if you're on the hunt for this shoe, this is gonna be the video you click on because you realize that the shoe is fire. Simple. It's gonna be that simple for you. It's because the shoe is fire and you're, gonna, you're just wanting somebody to be like, these are fire so you can pull the trigger on it. This is what this video is. But this is gonna be a review of the A6 Kiko gel socket i don't know it's s-o-k-a-t i like that they put the k uh socket 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 i don't know but these are literally my favorite sneakers right now in my closet bro it's not even funny bro like as soon as i got these i put them on and y'all know i typically open a box showcase like me opening or me you know getting my first initial reaction but it was one of those things, bro. As soon as I got the package, I didn't even make it home. Like I picked it up from my PO box. I opened it right there because I was like, I need to see these and I need to know what they fit. That's what I did. I put them on and everything and I, it hit me. I was like, dang, I didn't even record that. So here's me trying to showcase what they look like kind of when I first got them. So these are brand new. They just didn't come with the box. Um, as you can see, still got the icy bottom here. No major flaws. Like it was just, it was a W in every aspect, a big W. So let me just tell y'all this, bro. I remember when I was first starting off with social media, bro, and then I was on Grail with my name being Creative Cloth on Grail, and certain people would be like, bro, I think I'll follow you on Instagram. So then I had to change my name because y'all know go give me a, a better price because y'all know I'm Creative Cloth, and I ran into that plenty of times. So I changed my name. It's You can't even figure out it's me unless we go through the transaction and then you see my name and my address on there. But other than that, you won't know it's me because it's completely different. I had to do that because I be wanting to go demon mode, bro. I be wanting to go straight demon mode on grill. Like I am like, I'm sorry. I'm one of those people, bro. I'm a low ball. I'm a low ball. I want a better price. I'm a bargainer. I would work so well in a bartering system. It would be ridiculous. So it was around Christmas. I want to say it was like the 24th, 23rd. I was on grill, bro, late night. I'm talking candle lit, you know? I got some champagne in my system. I'm like, you know, trying to sweet talk somebody on grill. So I find these shoes and I'm like, hey man, uh, I'm going through a tough time in my life right now, which I am. I'm going through a tough time in my life right now. Uh, can you knock off $200? <laughs> I'm not lying, here it is. Uh, he said, yes, I'll take it. He said, sorry you're going through that, man. If you message me on IG. And let me just stop for one second. Typically, people who have their own established shop, like it's a retail shop or they have like their own Instagram selling shop, they're willing to go for a lower price because they know Grill is gonna have some crazy fees on there. Most of the time, the reason that the price is so inflated on Grill is because they're trying to account for the percentage that Grill is gonna take for them. They also try to take into account the shipping pricing and all that. So typically what these people will do is, They'll say, if you message me on IG, they'll usually use the I's and then they'll say G to be like, I'll give you that price, but you have to message me on there, which is cool to do that. I feel like in my experience, because you go through PayPal still paying these people. So PayPal still has protections. Like, so if you're buying something from someone, you can still select the option, like you're buying a good. So even if like, you know, they don't send it or like something happens, like you can still get your money back. So that's why I'm comfortable with going through PayPal and going through IG to be like, you know, what's your PayPal? I'll pay you there. But like, don't do anything where it's like, oh, you have to send it through Zelle or Cash App because you can't really track those things and it kind of gets a little too messy. But yeah, he said, I'm all down for that. I was like, all right, cool. Send him the money. He shipped it out and I got him in hand. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want to waste our time. I want to get straight into the review. So let's get into the review portion of the A6 Kiko gel socket. <laughs> Y 
Yeah, nigga jumped to the post. When I met like Kilo, he was 13. Kid in the dirt, hit everything. Shot it, go mess the fuck up, that's all everything. Bitch, I was 50, yes, I was a felony. I'm in the script with a hooligan. Huh. They cut on shooter, they don't doing it. Dropped out of school, I had truancy. Illusion, I live in it like I'm losing it. Huh. All of my bitches will argue, best stupid shit. Don't watch your love, bitch, you ruined it. Huh. If she don't pull out, then I'm pulling it. I got the fight for that foolishness. All right, so like I always do, I always try to start with comfortability. I fight. That's what people always try to figure out about sneakers because you want your sneakers to be comfortable. I don't know a single person who buys shoes specifically for them to be uncomfortable. So let's get into it. These are gonna be a nine and a half sneaker. Now I've noticed across the board from A6, I typically wear a nine and a half. So I have this pair, which is a nine and a half. I've also had the A6 Brain Dead collab, nine and a half. I've also had a GR pair that was a nine and a half. And typically in other brands such as like Adidas, I wear like a true nine. So like Jordan ones, I wear like a true nine, um, like Stan Smith's and like even like Adidas Sambo's, like I'm typically like a true nine, but it seems like an A6 company wide, I tend to be a nine and a half. So that can give you a little bit of information if you're looking for a sizing thing. Me personally, I wear a nine and a half and I feel like all the A6. Now, again, I work in retail. I'm on my feet a lot. I was even on my feet for like 12 hours plus one time wearing these shoes because I've had these for like two to three weeks now. I was on my feet for like 10 to 12 hours one day. Um, 10 hours being just on my feet, out in public, working and all that. And then two hours being in the car driving to Houston to go visit family. So I have a very good understanding of these shoes. Fire, they're fire. Simple bro, they're comfortable. Like I really have had no problems with these shoes yet. I will say though, when I was driving to Houston, that two hours, I did start to feel a little fatigue on my foot. But I will preface that with saying a lot of times when I do drive, my feet start hurting because, you know, you're just going like this, you know, you're braking, you're gassing, depending on traffic, like you're just going like this so often that your foot is just going to, you know, get fatigued in general. So I don't necessarily blame that on the shoes more so than I blame being in the car for two hours plus. Um, but other than that, it's been fine. I have noticed also that when I wear a thicker sock, let me say this first. Have you ever been in a car driving, you know, you cruising on the highway and then you just get like deep in thought and you're like, wow, everyone on this highway has their own life, their own goals, their own family, their own set of friends. And like, that's everyone around you. Like you ever been one of those, like trapped in one of those thoughts? No, no, just me. Okay. I don't know how that helps my next point, but literally the day that I wore these with like a thicker sock, around like five to six hours wearing these, I started to notice that I was wearing a shoe. Now, I don't really know how to break that down anymore, but I think it could be just because my foot was getting fatigued, I was walking a lot, but I started to notice that I was wearing a shoe. Um, I can't decipher that anymore. It's hard to explain. It wasn't that it was hurting. It wasn't that I wanted to take the shoes off. I just took note that like, Around five or six hours wearing this one day with a thicker sock, I noticed that my foot was trapped in a shoe. <laughs> so yeah. Overall comfortability, I would have to say, man, it's it's a solid like nine out of ten. It's not the most perfect, comfortable shoe in the world, but it's pretty darn comfortable. Like 10 out of 10, you know, four and a half stars out of five. Like these are solid comfortability wise. So if you've been on the fence about it because you're like, I don't know how they fit, like these are definitely a solid choice if you're looking for it. One, a really dope design sneaker, but two, it's also comfortable. Now next, let's get into styling knife. <laughs> now y'all know me, bro. So y'all know I've been wearing boots a lot lately and I haven't been really rocking sneakers just because like it haven't been gravitating to me. So I feel like when I bought these, I was like, dang, I haven't like bought a sneaker or worn a sneaker a lot in a long time, so I don't know how that's gonna fit in my closet anymore, but they fit. <laughs> um, one thing I like to note on this sneaker is, you know, this looks like a typical low profile sneaker. So it looks, you know, very low here, and then it also has that dugout right here that a lot of low profile sneakers have, but it's so unique because once you turn it this way, it almost looks like a mid top sneaker. So then it gets like this elevated peak so it almost looks like two different sneakers in one. Although this side obviously being on the outer side, this is the one that people are gonna see the most. I just feel like you kind of get two in one with this sneaker. Now, these look good with sweatpants. These look good with denim. These look good with carpenter pants. These look good with shorts. It could be short shorts. It could be longer shorts. Like 
I don't see this shoe not fitting just because it also has like, it's more so a low profile sneaker than it is at a mid top one. But you know, low profile sneakers for the most part can be paired with just about anything just because it is low profile and it doesn't have to be, you know, super bulky up top. And like, you know, it just lays well, like when it comes to like pants and meeting the shoe, like it's great, bro. The only thing I don't see this working with is skinny jean. But other than that, a straight cut, a baggy cut, a uh, medium cut, boot cut, whatever you want to say, these sneakers are going to be very easily paired with anything in your closet, I feel like. And I'll just use this last portion of the video, just giving my lasting thoughts and last impressions of the sneakers themselves. They're fire, bro. I, I can't put it any other way. So if it sounded like I was glazing these shoes the whole time, I was, absolutely. I'm talking glazed donut. I'm talking Krispy Kreme. Like these are fire, bro. And there's three colorways of these that I know of so far. So they have the purple pair. They also have the green pair. They also have the black pair. And since I already know I love these sneakers and y'all know I have not been hype about sneakers in a long time, I gotta get all three, bro. I have to because I know they're gonna just fit in my closet already. I don't have to go out and experiment with another sneaker brand or another silhouette. I know these are fire. And I just think all three colorways are fire, bro. I just think they're all dope. So really lasting thoughts. If you've been on the fence and you're just sitting there staring off into the distance trying to figure out Dang, do I want these or not? Let me be the supporter friend to tell you, go buy those sneakers. But yeah, man, let me know in the comments, what do y'all think of the gel socket, socket, socket? Gel socket. Uh, let me know what y'all think of this silhouette. Is it as far as I'm telling y'all it is? Or y'all think I'm glazing and y'all think I'm doing too much and it's just an okay sneaker. I'm interested to know, but I'm glad to know that my love for sneakers is finally coming back. But without further ado, like I always do, I'll catch y'all in the next one. But I love, I love the way you work it. Hey, I love the way you work it for